Another question, inshallah ta'ala, is how do you balance between seeking knowledge and also and it is seeking knowledge in the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seeking worldly knowledge? As you know in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he speaks against a people who have given more knowledge, more desire and want towards knowledge of the world over the deen. يَعْلَمُونَ ظَاهِرًا مِنَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ عَنِ الْآخِرَةِ هُمْ غَافِلُونَ they know the world very well, but when it comes to Akhirah, they are ignorant about it. It shows you what? Giving the dunya precedence over the Akhirah, Allah spoke against it. وَلِذَلِكَ Hassan al-Basriyu In the tafsir of this ayah, Ibn Kathir bin Zin, his tafsir, I think, or Ibn Jarir, that he said, one of them, yani those people, if they saw gold without weighing it, they can tell you how much it weighs even before weighing it. But he said, if you saw them pray the salah, you'll be shocked the way that they pray. They know the dunya very well. If you ask him, you say, Akhi, I need to know, I want to get myself a house. He goes, by the way, yeah, I'll tell you, let me break it down for you. Fill this application form in. It takes about seven working days. He'll break everything down to you. Tafasil, ma'lumat, ajeeba jiddan. You ask him about shurut al-salah, you ask him about the conditions of the prayer, what are the things that you need to do when you're praying. What is the du'as that you should make when you're in the salah? What, what should you not read? What can you read? Where can you not read the Qur'an in? In the salah, there's a place you cannot read the, the, the Qur'an in it, right? He doesn't know any of that. He'll say to you, Wallah, I leave that for the scholars. So it's not like he doesn't have the brain. It's just that he's what? I saw a brother one time, he memorizes people's phone numbers. He doesn't, he doesn't, you tell him your number, he knows it from memory. Allahumma barik, quickly, he'll keep the number, like he's very good at it. His own bank card, he fills it uh, from memory. A few times, uh, he's used other people's bank cards and he knows it from memory. <laughs> Worrying, yeah? So, yeah, I mean, but then I asked him, I said, when I saw this, I said, SubhanAllah, you've got a brain, Allahumma barik, what? where are you in the Quran? Sah? It's amazing, you can memorize all those numbers and everything. And he goes to me, Wallahi, I only juz Allah. So I said, why, why, why can't you do it? See, the issue isn't that he can't do it. The issue is what? Are we all together? Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, he says, anybody who wants to reach a destination in life, there's two things he needs. There's two things. You can't reach somewhere unless you have these two things. Himmatun turaqi wa ilmun yubasiruhu wa yahdi. You have two things. You have to have the knowledge and the insight in order to what? For that thing, if, if I wanted to make this bottle, I have to first of all have the knowledge to make this bottle. If I don't have the knowledge, I can't make it, right? The second thing is, I have to have the will and the desire to want to do it. I might know it, but not want to do it. We're all together. So it's a combination of those two. That after that comes the effort, or the person can do something, right? So a lot of people don't want to learn about the, the deen. They, they just don't see it important. So the advice I can give is, inshallah ta'ala, to those type of people is, and it's not just them, by the way. Even the older generation, if they have children, the smart ones always push to medicine and يعني, yeah? dunya stuff. And the one that's failing and they're thinking, oh no, this, is gonna do, this guy is going to bring a shame, shame to the family. They say, you know, go to the, go to the madrasa and study the Quran. صح? So the ones who are failing come to the what? They come to study the religion. So me, probably, I have a policy. Any person I see who's dragging, who's dragging his leg and is not serious about seeking knowledge, I say, don't do it. Go study medicine. Sah? <laughs> the opposite. If you're not serious, we're not going to beg you to study the what? The deed. The deed needs sharp people. People are dedicated, willing. They've got the brain, they've got the time. They, win, they want to learn it. Sah? So anybody who doesn't have desire for the deed, the deed doesn't need you. Sah? The people Allah loves and they love Allah. Those are the people Allah is going to exchange. If you turn away, there's people better than us that are going to come and Allah is, they're going to serve the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's my point, inshaAllah ta'ala.